Hey, what is up you guys? My name is Jess and welcome or welcome back to Planted Hippie. Welcome back to another planty video. As you can see behind me, the Christmas tree is fully decorated and up with the presents wrapped in under the tree. So it inspired me to get together a plant person gift guide for you guys today so that you know exactly what to get that special plant person in your life. So if that does interest you, I please ask that you stick around, leave a like, maybe even a comment down below or even subscribing so that you are notified every time I upload a new video and to help me keep on planting. Please also don't forget to follow me on Instagram at planted.hippie where I post new planty photos daily. So with that, let's get into this plant person gift guide. Alrighty, I did want to start out this video with the probably number one common present or gift that you will want to give someone as a plant person and that is another plant. And I don't not recommend giving someone a plant. If you are friends with this person and you've heard them mention that they want XYZ plant, then go ahead and surprise them with that plant, especially if it is on their wish list, then I would say go for it. But if you are just getting to know this person or whatever the case may be, you don't really know what kind of plants they are into. I also think picking plants for plant people is a very personal thing. If you aren't very close again to the person and you don't really know if they're going to want that specific plant, I would go ahead and go with some of the other options I'm about to tell you guys. So unless you know that the person is going to really want this specific plant, I would not recommend getting someone a plant just based on a lot of different factors like you don't know if they can care for it. You don't know if they already have that plant, I guess. I guess you could know, but again, if you don't really know that person, how would you know? And if that person ends up not really wanting that plant, it can end up sort of being like a burden on a person that does already have a ton of plants like myself. So let's go ahead and get into some better options other than getting someone a plant because there are tons of things you can be getting your special plant person. And let's get into a few of them. Okay, so for the first item or gift that I would recommend getting a planty person in your life is plant merch. And if you don't know anything about plant merch, you can basically get designs from lots of different places. This t-shirt is specifically from Target. I don't know if they still sell it. They are actually, they actually kind of came out with a blue t-shirt version, a newer design that I saw and picked up. I don't know if it's from the same artist, but it had the same vibe. I actually wore it in a video a couple videos back and talked about it. It's like my new favorite shirt. And if you weren't really into this sort of generic plant mom standard merch, there is also a ton of online small businesses that you can pick from. I'll go ahead and leave some shops kind of popping up on the screen of um, t-shirt designs and merch and sort of um, planty artists that I admire on Instagram. You don't have to always just buy t-shirts. You can also buy prints and even um, original artwork from artists that do um, physical or digital art. So I think it's a really cool option to get someone. You can even get them something like this. I got this at a local plant store in South Florida when I was visiting in Tampa, actually in Dunedin. The store was called Seeds and it was really, really cute. It was like a plant boutique and they had this really cute little keychain and it was a little Monstera and a lot of Etsy shops and online businesses carry and make planty merch and accessories like this like keychains and I even saw stickers at the little booth that I got this at so that is another really great option again if you're going to be maybe putting something in a envelope or just a small gift to give someone to show that you care I think these are really cute and a really great option the next thing I have on my list is a repotting mat and these can be like hard like wooden repotting mats where they kind of fold up into little uh, trays and those are really cool and sturdy this however is just a standard kind of um cheap <laughs> cloth one it is waterproof and stuff like that but how they work is they clip at the corners and they make a little potting tray or i guess 
again, a potting mat. And as you can see, it makes a little mat and it gives it like little walls so that when you are repotting, so when you are repotting, it doesn't let the soil slip and slide. And then you can also just lift up the mat when you're finished and dump the excess soil or whatever you didn't want to use into your compost pile or back into your soil bin. And it's just a really nice tool to utilize, especially if you live in small spaces like in an apartment or a condo. I personally live in a house, but I like to bring this inside anyway. Like if I need to do any repotting or fixing of the IKEA greenhouse cabinets, especially my little, especially on my Rudsta IKEA greenhouse cabinet, whenever I'm in there sort of tinkering away and making sure everything is okay or, or clipping away any dead leaves, a lot of the moss will like to fall out onto the floor. And if I have this mat underneath, it sort of takes care of that issue. And I can sort of just pick up the mat and take it outside and dust it off and fold it back up. It's just a really nice gift to give someone who maybe is living in smaller quarters or is just a neat freak like me and doesn't like to get everything dirty whenever they just need to repot a small plant or even a big plant. They do have bigger sizes than this, I'm sure. I like to just use them on little small jobs and then fold it away and put it away quickly And it's just a really nice thing to have around the house when you need to do something quick with your plants And I think it is a great gift idea and I highly recommend the one I got I will try to leave everything that I have personally in my like own collection down below because I usually get everything on Amazon So a lot of these things can be found on there. So yeah, I think a repotting mat is a perfect idea for a gift for your planty person again just so they have a extra space or area that they can utilize to do some repotting of smaller plants or even bigger ones because I know they make bigger sizes than this but if they are in a smaller space like an apartment this is a great tool to gift someone to ensure that whenever they do decide to have some plant chores done they have a nice little clean space to do it and have easy cleanup afterwards and yeah again I really enjoy using repotting mats and I would recommend them to anyone and yeah I think it is the perfect gift idea for your planty person so that is a really great option the next gift idea I have for you guys are gifting someone trellises so this is not the only trellis I have it's the only one I could reach the other one I have is sort of like tucked away behind a bunch of little um behind a bunch of plants and kind of wedged into a box so i am not able to grab that one but it's like a normal hoop and i love little trellises like this for especially my hoya because the hoya that like to vine and get all crazy and wild they can at least have something to attach to and i think that really encourages the blooms or peduncles that come on hoyas so i really love this style of trellis for hoyas these are these specific trellises are from from our friend on Instagram, Heffalump, his name's Carson, and he hand makes these. So I know he has an Etsy, and you can also probably message him on Instagram, and I'll leave his info down below, but he makes super cute trellises, and I really love them. This is actually the last one I have. The rest of them are on my Hoyas. I have one on my Shepardii. I had one on my Sunrise, but she kind of rotted, and she is rerooting in the cabinet, but when she was healthy and beautiful, I did have her on one of these beautiful trellises, and I loved it. So, and and not to mention there are plenty of really cool like designs of trellises and yeah trellises can come in all different shapes and sizes and I would recommend obviously for all of these gifts gifting on the smaller side version of anything you give someone just because it is a little bit easier to transport wrap and and especially if the person you are gifting these things to has to travel back home with them it is just easier to have a smaller present to take home whenever you are receiving something i think trellises are a really good idea for anyone you can buy like three of them and gift them as that and sort of wrap a little bow around it and make it like cute and i think it's just such a vital tool for plant parents. I don't really think you can go wrong with whatever trellis you do choose but again if you're going to pick a cooler or more unique design I would also try to keep in mind of the person that you are buying for's style. It all just depends on the person's style and if you know it or not so just be wary of what you pick out. So this is a perfect option 
and let's get on to the next option I have for you all. So for the next few items, I know every plant person is going to never have enough of any of these items. So receiving any of these next few items, even if the plant person already has them, I think is a really good addition anyway because you can really never have enough tools whenever caring for plants. So I think things like clippers and gloves and watering cans or even moisture meters are great presents to gift to your plant person whether you have a big or small collection i think having at least two of all of these items is really a good idea so that you can have a watering can here a watering can over here always filled up and ready to water anything that you find and is in dire need of water or you can have a clean pair of snippers or clippers whatever you want to call them at the ready anytime you need to do a propagation or cutting off any dead matter off your plants and especially moisture meters. Moisture meters are really useful and I have like three of them. I have one like on top of here. Here is one of them I use. It's sort of just one of the generic ones. I think I got this one at Ace Hardware but they are really really useful tools and I really love them. Here is one of my other watering cans. It's a cute little toucan. I think it's so funny when my mom got me this. And yeah, he just fills up, he just fills up in his little head right here. And then he waters out of his little beak. So there are some really cool options when it comes to tools, I guess. Here is another option for a watering can if you wanted to go for a more decorative or sleek look if you know the person's style is not toucans. And here are some examples of clippers. These are the kind of ones I like to use. They're kind of like rose bush clippers. I also have like straight edge clippers. And I also sort of just use scissors sometimes. So it just depends on what I can find. And again, you can never have enough of any of these tools because I'm always looking for clippers or the moisture meter or a watering can or whatever it may be. So if you are on the fence or really unsure of what to get your plant person, definitely get one of these because they will definitely appreciate getting a new clipper or a new watering can because we can never get enough of these. If you are looking for a more simple or minimalist idea to gift someone, maybe you just met them and you know they're into plants or maybe you are just exchanging cards and wanted to include something within that. And I think gift cards are a wonderful gift to give someone, especially to a local plant nursery. If you know that there is a specific plant nursery that they frequent, you can also check like their social media pages to see if they've posted that they've bought a new plant here or there and you can go to that place and get a gift card. I always recommend getting from local businesses or small local nurseries as opposed to maybe like Home Depot or Lowe's. You can always get those gift cards if you know that they will go and get their plant there or maybe that's their only options. But I always just put it out there to get someone a gift certificate or a gift card for a local plant nursery because that is another really great option like I mentioned in the beginning if you don't want to get someone a full-on plant because you don't really know if it's going to suit them or if they already have it giving someone a gift certificate or a gift card to their local plant nursery will definitely make them happy so that they can go and pick out whatever new plant that they want to use that gift card on and I just think it's a really great gift that you can include that's maybe smaller or or again just something to include in a gift card and I think it's just a really small easy gift that if you're really unsure it's a really nice gift that's still thoughtful because I personally don't really love gift cards but if you kind of frame it like I know you went to this nursery recently and I wanted you to go pick out another new plant then it it's a little bit more thoughtful in my eyes so that is another great option the next gift I idea I have on my list for you guys today is macrame and I personally love macrame. I think hanging plants obviously gives a lot of more room to work with on plant surfaces and I guess the floor and gets plants off of surfaces and off of the floor and you can hang them in your windows. You can hang them on like beams or curtain rods or wherever you can really hang anything. You can hang them from the ceilings. Just always be careful when hanging stuff from ceilings especially because they can tear out of drywall really easily and just find studs and be careful or have your fiance do it 
like I do and never have to worry about it. But I love macrame again because it's just such a decorative, beautiful way to hang your plants and it's just a lot different than just keeping them in a standard nursery pot with a plastic hanger and hanging them that way. You can transfer them into your favorite pottery and then put them in the macrame to give it an even cuter look. Uh, this is just a terracotta with a bunch of like calcium deposits on it. But yeah, I really, really love macrame as well as another really great gift to gift along with macrame or even in addition to or completely separately is pottery. I absolutely love plant pottery. I know a lot of other plant parents appreciate and love plant pottery. I think your pottery actually goes hand in hand with your plants and you can really do a lot of cool styling techniques with your plant pottery and your plants. So this specific type of style pottery is called Talavera and it is hand painted by a little family in Mexico. Mexico, and I get them from my job at Leonardi's nursery. So they are really, really unique and beautiful pieces of pottery because they are from Mexico. They're from a specific family that just hand paints them and they're one of a kind. All of them are different. I have tons of different styles of this type of pottery. There's also hundreds of different types and styles of pottery as well as artists and lots of people online and on Etsy who make ceramics and stuff like that. I am actually looking into starting to make ceramics because I did it as a kid and I've always had like an itch to want to throw and do stuff like that. So I am definitely looking into doing some classes next year and maybe buying my own kiln one day. And that'd be really cool but until then I can appreciate pottery for what it is and I think it is a really great gift idea for you guys to be gifting your plant person because like plants if you know the person's style or if you have seen their plant collection and know what type of pots they like to purchase or if you know hey they only like terracotta pots and you see a really cool design terracotta that is different than the sort of typical standard terracotta that I just showed you. I think you should get it because if you know that they love terracotta, then go ahead and get them another terracotta. If you know that I love Talavera pottery and you see Talavera pottery out and about while shopping at a nursery, then you would wanna get that for me. So just again, if you know the person's taste or style of pottery, I would go ahead and try to get a gift like that. But if you're like me, I, really don't care about what type of pottery I have. I love all types of cute pots. I have like totally random pots everywhere. So I'm not really too picky, but I know some people are. So it's just something to keep in mind, but definitely ceramics and pottery is a really great idea. And if you are looking for more budget friendly pottery, always check out Lowe's and Home Depot. They have a really nice selection of ceramics and always just sort of make sure you are picking pottery with a drainage hole because any plant parent is going to hate you if you give them essentially a cover pot that they can't really use to plant anything in they're only going to be able to put their nursery pots in there so just try and find a piece of pottery with a drainage hole and you should be okay so yeah i do highly recommend ceramics or pottery and let's go ahead and move on to the sort of last category of plant gifts that you could get someone. They are going to be on the more higher end, but I did want to go ahead and mention these options just in case anyone had plans to get that special someone something a little bit more nice or expensive that they can splurge on them. So let's get on to the last items on our list. All right, so the very last few items on our list are going to be, again, a little bit more expensive depending on where you get it from. So the first gift idea that I would love to receive as a plant person is grow lights. You can never really have enough grow lights, I think, in my opinion, because you can utilize grow lights anywhere in your house. Or if you have a part of your place that doesn't really get enough light, you can add a grow light to supplement that light and you can have additional surfaces in your house that can hold more plants. And again, grow lights can be on a really big space spectrum when it comes to price. The grow lights that I personally use are only $30 from Housebrite and I'll leave them linked below. They are really great grow lights. I have like four or five of them. I have them just screwed into like little rope wires in the plant room and hanging from the ceiling and they've never really given me any issue. I actually really appreciate the growth that they give my plants and I think my plants are happy with them. I also do have the Soltec track light system so I am still waiting to get that hooked up with an electrician because I got the hardwired version and it is going to be in my gaming sort of area room 
pointed at my entertainment stand so I can start putting some nice plants up on there and have them all lit up and displayed nicely. So I'm really excited to have that done. I may even consider putting it in my little breakfast nook. I'm not too sure, but I did want to throw those out there because those are a really good option. Lastly, for today's list, I did want to mention humidifiers. I think humidifiers are a really cool tool for any plant parent even if they live in a humid environment or not. I think adding extra humidity to our plants is a vital step to ensure that leaves unfurl nicely, that aerial root growth is healthy and encourages aerial root growth to attach to our moss poles and other things like that. And as well as humidifiers are just sort of good anyway for your skin and keeping things hydrated and nice, especially if you live in a drier climate, your plants will definitely appreciate having a humidifier. Again, humidifiers can range from expensive to non-expensive. I have tried a lot of different humidifiers. I will leave linked below which two humidifiers I like to use. I'll use the brand Lavoit and Electomes, and then I also have a Genovani, Genovania, I don't know the brand name. I'll leave them all linked below of which ones that I like to use and then what Austin likes to use. And yeah, we have like four different humidifiers and we still live in Florida. So we like to keep the plant room very humidified as, as well as Austin's grow tent likes to stay very humid as well. So he has one in there. And yeah, that is just a really great gift idea to get anyone because you can get a small humidifier or a bigger one. Humidifiers can come in big or small humidifiers are usually kind of light anyway so as long as it comes in like a portable box I wouldn't worry about getting them a bigger one especially if you're having it shipped to them I wouldn't really worry about size because I firmly believe the bigger the humidifier the more use you're gonna get out of it because the smaller humidifiers you're constantly kind of having to fill them up and with the bigger ones I find myself only refilling my bigger humidifiers maybe only once or twice a week but also I do have like three of them going at a time so I know everyone is different. I just know I would appreciate having a bigger humidifier rather than a smaller one. So yeah, I definitely had to mention gifting a humidifier, whether it be big or small, because it is just such a utilized tool if you're going to be keeping plants. So with that, that does bring us to the end of our list today. And I do hope you did end up finding at least one perfect gift for your special planty someone. And if you did stick all the way to the end, I do appreciate you. And please ask that you leave a like, a comment down below, or even subscribe so that you are notified every time I upload a new video and to help me keep on planting. Please also don't forget to follow me on Instagram at plants.hippy where I post new planty photos daily. So with that, I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys!